Hello guys, this is Andrew Fitzgerald, and today I will be sharing my predictions of what smartphones will be like and what sort of features they'll have by the year 2020. Enjoy. Feature number five is actually a new way to unlock your phone. Laptop Meg and I both predict that phones will include sensors and scanners that will be able to read your eyes to unlock your phone and to make mobile payments. This isn't very far-fetched as we've already seen fingerprint sensors, voice recognition, and face unlock on other devices. And I predict that this will most likely be built in the camera. I don't think there will be a separate sensor for this. But it just seems so cool that all you'll have to do is look at your phone to unlock it. This also isn't very crazy as we've already seen this type of technology from Samsung with their features such as Smart Stay and Smart Scroll where the camera looks at your eyes and tracks the movements to see what you want to do. This feature just seems like it would be a great addition to a smartphone and would really increase the safety. Prediction number four comes from the website Hung Kiat, and those folks over there predict that in the future there will be projectors built into the smartphones. This, in my opinion, would be a great and a very welcome feature for smartphones as it would help a lot with business. Just imagine all, not even having to bring your laptop to work in the future, maybe 15 years from now, all you may have to carry around is your smartphone because it already has all your files on it and you're able to project it on a screen to give a presentation for your colleagues. I also don't think this is very far-fetched either as Samsung already attempted this in 2010 when they made the Samsung Galaxy Beam. I believe that smartphone companies will in the future try to perfect this idea and eventually it'll just be the norm to have a projector built into your phone. Another great feature that will be very useful in the future if this prediction is correct. <laughs> Prediction number three is another really exciting feature as it's already been in the testing stages for a while for several companies such as Apple, LG, and Samsung. And this is screens that bend and fold. I mean, Samsung, this isn't a huge step for Samsung as they've already been producing curved screens along with LG. And even the what I'm using to record this video on which is a Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge Plus, has the curved display on both sides. So this isn't very far-fetched as this technology has already been slowly being produced over the past few years. And even an article from Techno Buffalo predicts that we will see this technology being unveiled by LG and Samsung as early as this year in 2016. They also predict that Apple will be a little late on the game, releasing their first bendable phone in 2018, but better late than never. This technology seems far-fetched and very futuristic, but in reality, it's actually really close to being produced, since curved displays and bendable displays have been already well thought of well in the past and have been tested and companies have been trying and trying over again to get it right but we will see it this coming year hopefully predictions two and one are definitely going to happen as every year the processors and cameras get more and more advanced prediction number two is of course crazy fast processors already in this phone that i'm using to record this video it has an octa-core processor and 4 gigs of RAM, but by 2020, I predict that phones will have either 16 or 32-core processors. They'll just be insanely fast, and I also predict that they'll have between 8 to 10 gigs of RAM by then. Um, for those of you who don't know, 
what all this means. It just means that your phone will be blazing fast, faster than your i your Core i7 laptop that you're using, maybe to watch this video. I also predict that these CPUs will run at three to four gigahertz each, which is just outstanding. It's just amazing how fast these phones will be, and. These phones with these specs should blow current i7 processors found in laptops and other computers just right out of the water with their speeds. These phones are going to have no lag, nothing. And also prediction number one is the cameras. These cameras will just be amazing. Cameras on phones keep getting better and better every year. The phone I'm using, the camera on the back, has a 16 megapixel camera and records in 4K at 60 frames per second. Front facing camera, I believe, is 8 megapixels. It's just insane how, how advanced cameras on phones are these days. And also, the white balance and the color accuracy will just be incredible. Colors will pop no matter what display they're using, whether it be LCD, AMOLED. The, dis the, cam the colors on all of these cameras will be incredible. And I also predict that insanely fast shutter speed, it'll be almost no lag between when you press the button and when the picture is taken. Just be incredible scenes. And then also I predict that the video recording will still be 4K, but I think that they'll up it up to 120 frames per second at least and they'll just keep getting slower and slower slow-mo video on these phones too the cameras are going to be incredible they'll be able to replace maybe even current cameras on actual de the camera devices i believe that these phones will be able to replace them also in the native camera apps, I believe that companies will include a wider range of software to be able to edit your videos and pictures right after you take them from within the app. And I also believe that they'll include lots of features so you'll literally be able to change and improve every aspect of your photo or video and make it how you want because let's face it that's what consumers want they want to be able to change everything about their picture and video to make it perfect to them and I believe companies know this and they'll develop they'll change around their apps to make it so the people get what they want because that's how you get consumers companies have to adjust what they make to make the consumers happy so I believe that the camera apps will be what all of us consumers want and that wraps up my prediction along with several websites that I use to make this videos predictions of what phones will look like by the year 2020 these phones will just be amazing and I can't wait to see and be able to use them in the future so that's it. Please drop a like, rating, and subscribe if you want to see more. It'll help me out a lot, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.